Guess who's back? Back again. Jana's back. <laughs> Tell a friend. Listen, I fixed my camera. It costs zero dollars. I just used this handy dandy tweezer. Okay. And I just took the whole cracked lens off of the camera. I'm gonna have to be extra careful with the phone for right now. And the front facing camera, I was like, why isn't it fixing the front facing camera? Cause I wasn't thinking. The camera's like right, yeah, right there. And my my screen protector, if you see that little crack right there, see that? That was right over the camera lens. So, padow. I fixed it, zero dollars and zero cents. I really need to post a video. I really need to post. Ah! I am in the Target parking lot with the Ross. I bought some panties yesterday and was it yesterday or was it the day before yesterday? It was the day before yesterday and uh, your girl, I don't know what's up. Like I just need to come to the conclusion that the only panties that are comfortable are either the plus size in the Target or I can go to Lane Bryant because you know, I'm thicker than a Snickers. It's big girl season. And I tried to pull them suckers up. Um, and I was like, oh, these are going to fit at Ross. They were super, super soft. It came in like a tan color, a burgundy color. And um, I honestly was not purchasing them just because I wanted to spend money. Because that's not what we're doing these days. I genuinely need and a few extra pairs of panties only because if I don't hit the laundry mat, because honestly, the laundry mat's getting quite expensive. Not saying that I can't afford it, but I'm just trying to be more, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, what's the word? I'm trying to be more intentional. I'm trying to be more intentional with my purchases and with my spending period. So if I have a few extra pairs of panties, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to go to the laundromat. So, cause I have like five pairs, you know, five. And then that's Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, go to laundromat. And then we start over again type of thing. Maybe I should have seven pairs. It makes more sense, but I have five pairs. Okay. Not because I can't buy more panties, you guys. Obviously, I bought some at the Ross and they thought I was a skinny girl. And ain't nothing skinny about this girl here. <laughs> um, with that being said, somebody just parked beside me. <sighs> Look at all this extra parking spaces. All this extra parking. Okay, not directly beside me, but a spot like to, and I don't even want to look in that direction. Cause it's weird. I'm gonna go for now. Today off uh, of my real job to truck drive and then shop for ship in a little while so stay tuned
Step one, raise your standards. Anytime you sincerely want to make a change, the first thing you must do is to raise your standards. When people ask me what really changed my life eight years ago, I tell them that absolutely the most important thing was changing what I demanded of myself. I wrote down all the things I would no longer accept in my life, all the things I would no longer tolerate, and all the things that I aspired to becoming. Think of all the far-reaching consequences set in motion by men and women who raised their standards and acted in accordance with them, deciding they would no longer tolerate any less. History chronicles and the inspiring examples of people like Leonardo da Vinci, Abraham Lincoln, Helen Keller, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Albert Einstein, and many others who took the magnificently powerful step of raising their standards. The same power that was available to them is also available to you. If you have the courage to claim it, Changing an organization, a company, a country, or a world begins with the simple step of changing yourself. you today to unplug. If something has been pulling at you to delete your social media forever, maybe for a month, maybe for even two weeks, I encourage you to do that. There is nothing in this world greater than peace, not money, not a job, not shoes, not jewelry or clothes. Protect your peace by any means necessary.